It's really hot today. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Vlog number 356. Welcome back to the studio. It's a really hot day in Perth today. It's like proper baking outside, so... I haven't worn this pineapple shirt in ages. I'm a pineapple. Anyway, as you guys know, there's only about two and a half weeks to go until I go to Hong Kong. So there's not much time left. I'm trying to get as much done as possible in the next three... Two, four, seven, twenty, two and a half weeks. So of course I have to do the Vibe Mallet reviews over the next couple of weeks and I don't think anyone's gonna buy the Vibe friend, so I do have to send it back unfortunately, which is very sad. But anyway, all of that aside, I wanna show you guys what I got in the mail. You might have seen this on my Instagram story. I also talked about it in my last vlog that Artifact Percussion, which is a small company that makes really good percussion products. Everyone seems to be talking about them right now. Artifact Percussion sent me some mallets for the show and of course they also pledged to my show. So thank you so much, Aaron from Artifact for doing all of this. This is really nice of you. Artifact Percussion. And of course, if you guys ever want to send me anything, this is my PO box address right here. But yeah, I'm really keen to open this box because in the customs declaration, it says drumsticks and Lego toy. <coughs> Thank you so much, Aaron. Sounds like there's more than just mallets in here. Oh, there's actually a Lego toy in here. <laughs> Okay, I can see a lot of mallets in here, but let's go through all the stuff. There's a note here from Artifact Percussion that says, Adam, thank you so much for taking the time to review our mallets. Please keep in touch from Aaron and Lexi. Thank you, Aaron and Lexi. Okay, there's a lot of Artifact Percussion merch in here. This is some of the best looking percussion company merch I've ever seen. Here is a badge. I think this is a badge, look at that. We have an Artifact Percussion sticker, which kind of looks like a coat of arms. This is really cool. Here's a reminder to follow Artifact Percussion's Instagram. If you haven't already followed it, please do so. I'm not really sure why Artifact sent me a Lego car in the mail, but um, maybe it'll make a nice studio decoration. <laughs> what else is in here? Oh, what? Okay, so there's a lot of toys in this box. We have a Hawker Hurricane MK Power Prop Flying Glider. I don't know why I have a flying glider in the box, but um, thank you. Okay, the rest is just mallets. So firstly, we have what looks like a marimba mallet, a hard birch mallet called Quartus. Oh, I've seen this one on Instagram a lot. Look at what it's written here. Custom made for Adam Tan. 16 and a half inch length, one and a half inch ball diameter. And the shaft material is a synthetic material called Micarta, which I've never heard of before. I'm very keen to see what it's like, but it looks really nice. Have a look at that. Look at that, it's kind of like a, a waffle. So this is called Kalem. We have a soft rubber birch mallet called Aureus. We have a medium hard rubber mallet called Ignis. And then we have a medium rubber mallet, which is called Kalem. So I'm guessing it's the same Kalem as the other one, but this one is just a normal birch shaft and it's black, blue, dark blue. Okay, it's dark blue. I think that's it. Oh no, no, there's one more thing. Of course, Artifact Percussion Badge. Okay, just recapping on what Artifact gave me. They gave me a Lego car. They gave me a flying glider. They gave me a sticker. They gave me an Instagram reminder. Make sure you follow them. They gave me a badge. They gave me this nice note. They gave me these custom-made Mikata hand mallets. Quartus hard mallets. Aureus soft mallets. Ignis medium hard mallets. And they gave me another pair of Kalems, which are medium. So we have five pairs of mallets and we have a whole host of random merch things but thank you so much Aaron thank you so much Artifact Percussion for sending me all of these this is crazy and yeah if someone can comment below if they've ever received a Lego car or a power prop flying glider in the mail um, that would be great because I want to know the explanation behind this I mean I love it I love my toys as you can see you know all this stuff so <laughs> this is kind of cool look at all these mallets this is ridiculous it's literally like they're so nice looking. I just, I love the feel of them so much. I'm gonna just quietly try them on the marimba because it's still business hours, so I can't play too loud, but damn. Oh, of course I will try to avoid comparing brand to brand, like just on their own merits alone. They are a very nice set of articulate type traditional head mallets like that is. That is amazing. I'll reserve my judgment for the review on the studio show very, very soon, but man, just a few years ago, like literally maybe about five years ago, we wouldn't have had this much mallet choice available in the market. And now we have all these brilliant, brilliant companies like Artifact making stuff like this. I'm, I'm so happy, I love them. 
I have my zero gravity Jupiters there, I have my van slices, and I have the artifact percussions. Now, these are $25 a pair. These are 30 something a pair. These, you can buy four pairs for 100 bucks. Like, what? That is a bargain for this kind of quality. Like, no joke, these are some of the nicest, nicest bird shards I've ever held. And they're, they're so nice. Like, look at that, look at that. I don't even need to say anything, like that is amazing. Thank you so much Artifact Percussion for sending me these mallets. Like seriously, when I receive mallets from people, it's awesome. But when I receive mallets that are good, like really good, that's even better. So thank you so much. I will make sure I do a good episode on these. Wow. Okay, Rob's video is half done at the moment. I've spent pretty much the whole day doing it. I've seen today go from bright sunshine, 32 degrees, to absolute pouring rain, to thunderstorm. Like literally, it's kind of a little bit raining outside right now. But before, the ceiling was going <laughs> I'm gonna get some food now because I'm quite hungry. But I'm gonna come back and I really need some practice because the recital is coming up really soon. And like, I just, have been really short on practice time. Look at all those artifact percussion mallets over there. By the way, if you've ever followed me on my Instagram, Adam is Potato, you would have known that everything I post is basically food photos. So recently I started a new Instagram for percussion posts only called The Studio Family. If you haven't already followed it, please go and chuck me a follow because I post a lot of percussion stuff on there, both on the story as well as actual posts. And I've been posting a lot of what I like to call mallet grams, which are basically Instagram posts of mallets. So yeah, I'm trying to step up my Instagram game by like curating some more quality posts instead of just pictures of food. I mean, I like posting pictures of food, which is why I'm not deleting my old profile or anything but I think I need to post more percussion things because I never post anything percussion related on my Instagram, even though that's what I'm known for. So yeah, that's why if you want to follow the studio family. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some food, but yeah, I've got a lot of things to practice. Lemuria is almost finished. I'm literally up to here and the last page is here. So I'm very close to finishing what I want to finish. I'm very pleased with that, but obviously I don't want to get too cocky because I need to finish it very soon, like this is coming up so soon. Every time I walk in here, I'm reminded that we have this and this very, very soon. Like today is the 12th of October. So literally less than a month to go until we do this. I am so scared. I'm back from Ikea and I only just got this one thing which is this 199 magazine file set of four. I think that's an absolute killer of a bargain. Two dollars for four magazine files. I bought it mainly to take care of that pile of music over there that is just sitting there. It's so annoying so I'm gonna just chuck them into here and then it'll be a bit neater. Cool. They're very small actually. I thought they were gonna be a bit bigger than this but I guess not. Okay, here we have two dollars worth of magazine files made of cardboard. <laughs> I didn't even know I have this many etude books. I have this one, I have Wilcoxon, I have the Surround, I have Jazz Vibes Gary Burden, I have this John O'Reilly, I have Garwood Whaley, I have a panpipe book, <laughs> I have a modern book for snare drum, I have Saul Goodman, I have the Goldenberg, I have uh, Wilcoxon, and then I have, and then I've got Stick Control, I've got Delaclues, and I've got the other Delaclues, and I've also got the AMC program. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so just like a bunch of books, so many books. And then over here, I'm gonna put in all the rest of this music, all this editions, fits and stuff, and all these other pieces that I have, like Marimba Dances, eight on three, nine on two, and what's this? Oh, the Fink. Wow, I still have this. And, and of course, over the rainbow. So all of this is gonna go into these, but I think I need a much better solution. This is only temporary. <laughs> all right, that's all of the edition fits and music and all of my method books in the shelves, but I still have a lot of other stuff that I can't fit into these. So this will have to do for now, but um, at least it's neat. At least now, like it's not just one big pile of mess. 
So we'll just put these on here for now until I figure out a better solution. Planning to buy the Fluns from IKEA. Just know that it's not very Flun because it doesn't fit a lot of stuff. Um, they're really narrow. I really wish they were a bit wider, but oh well, I mean, at least it's all like organized into small piles now instead of having a big pile of nothing. And then I've still got this to figure out. I want to practice. I still have a studio episode that I haven't released yet, which is the Q&A number five. Um, it's a really good Q&A, but yeah, I haven't had time to edit it, so... To the marimba! Well, I am just done with my practice now, like it is quite late and I've played a bit of everything. Uh, I still have the chorale section of Lemuria to finish memorizing, but I just memorized those two pages. So, I mean, they're not the most accurate at the moment, but I'm going to get there, I promise. Uh, I'm probably going to come back in tomorrow and practice, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Man, this place is a mess. Look at all this. To everyone who keeps saying that I'm very organized, I'm very neat, that is simply not true. Like, I just, I always have stuff everywhere when I'm actually working, but then I just clean it up for show, <laughs> just for the vlog. Funnily enough, a lot of people don't realize that Therese and I have never actually played together, like at all. I find that hilarious, like that we're doing all of this and we have never played together, like ever, like not even in the same room, not even in like an orchestra or like a large ensemble or anything like that. Literally, we've never played in the same room before. Yeah, but somehow I think it's going to work. I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we've booked like rehearsal times in Hong Kong and stuff like we've got all this stuff ready to go and oh, I just I cannot wait to go I cannot wait to bring you guys along with me to Hong Kong by the way just for you guys who have watched all the way up to this part in the vlog if you guys remember when I was trying to book my tickets for Hong Kong a few vlogs back and I was trying to get business class tickets now that we're done with the announcements I am going to make that phone call and we're gonna see if we can get the business class seats wish me luck <laughs> I'm definitely flying at least premium economy all the way from Perth to New York. Well, right now between the four legs that I'm flying between Perth and New York, that is Perth to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to New York, New York to Hong Kong, Hong Kong to Perth, I have three out of four confirmed business class. Damn! So I'll be taking you guys with me on the A350 and on the 777 business class, at least three out of four. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get the fourth leg. I'm gonna keep waiting until the very last day before I book these tickets so that I can really try and get that business class ticket because I really want all four on business if possible. Otherwise, it's just gonna be really awkward, but... Oh, business class, I'm so excited. I mean, earlier this year, I flew flatbed to Kuala Lumpur, I know, but that's not really business class. That's more like premium economy. This is like a full-fledged business class. So I've, I've never flown business class on Cathay before, let alone by myself, so... 
Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry again for the vlog being very abrupt, but I promise it will get better, especially when we're in Hong Kong and in Pasic. It's going to be lit. It's going to be crazy. But I will see you guys, and thank you so much for watching, and good night!